Okay, uh, let's get a little cut off there on the hand demo with the last video. And it was getting pretty late. So anyway, I get a fresh start this morning, and uh, I really want to go over some of the details of this hand, uh, especially in the thumb. So we got a couple things going on where we want the thumb to rotate around the Z-axis. For that matter, we want all of the knuckles of the hand uh, to rotate around the Z-axis. So if I select this, and then I select the hierarchy C, um, this is the Z, we're all going to bend the same way. Now, I, I think I touched base on the last video, but I got cut off. So if I select the whole hand, select hierarchy C, when we go to put the controls um, on here, and we constrain, we're going to want to use the Z axis, so our hand is going to bend like this. So we're getting pretty close, the thumb is pretty close. Um, here's one thing I noticed, is if we look at this, we can see that the the Y is a bit curved, and uh, it's actually, it it is similar to the hand, where that axis really isn't straight up and down there. So, um, you know, that's not too big a deal. Uh, however, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of rotate it um, around the Z axis. So I have X, Y, Z, maybe just 5 degrees. So, yeah, something like that. And uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of troubleshoot through here, and hopefully this helps you whoops, uh, when you're working on the thumb, because uh, the thumb can be a little tricky. But So we want to be up here on the Z, and we're going to bend down. Okay, so now it's working pretty well uh, up in this upper joint here. Um, what's going on is we've, um, since we've rotated everything, we're not, we don't have our Z axis where we want it here. So we still want to be rotating around the Z, and as you can see, we're really uh, kind of sideways here. So uh, rotate around the X here and I'm going to drop it down to 5 degrees and that was the wrong way so I'll go back the other way. You can see what I'm doing. I want this joint to rotate around the Z when we close in so I'm going to go back one and I'm going to fix this one. So I'm going to twist all these around and these should be pretty lined up there so uh, maybe back one, and we know the last one really doesn't matter, but uh, I, I don't know, I like to have it looking kind of all similar. So up in the chain, select hierarchy, and let's give this guy a twist and see. Oh, yeah, much better. Okay, so that thumb's folding under much nicer now, so um, I mean, let's just get a look at the entire hand. And I'm just going to uh, click on the Z here. Oops, that's backwards. Oops, we need the hierarchy C, otherwise you're just going to move the palm joint. There we go. Okay, I'm much happier with that. So we got a nice fist curl there. Uh, a couple of things. Um, when I did this model, I did do the hand in a relaxed, more natural pose. And if we look at it here, you know, quickly in the side view, our joints are, you know, straight. Oops. So, uh, I'm going to fix those, and we'll go back through, and I'll double check on uh, everything that's going on as far as the transforms and positions and everything. And drop this down. I think I've pointed this out before, but uh, if you want to lock this, let's say I want to move this joint around um, just in the X and the Z. If you hold down Control and select the... Uh, um, axis that you want to lock out, you're going to see a yellow uh, square come in here in Maya. So now if I go to move this with the middle mouse button or whatever, it's only going to move side to side. I can't move it up and down anymore um, because, uh, well, yeah, in that view, because we've locked out the Y transition. So I'm going to undo all this. Okay. So uh, moving the entire upper joint of the pinky finger down. And get that back in position here. Now, of course, I'm going to have to reorient my joints, but I want this to fit. So, yeah, bear with me. I'm kind of picky, and you should be too. Uh, okay, so I'm happy with the pinky. And. Again, as I say, you're almost always going to move, you know, these joints around after you create them. I don't know too many people that get these right, these right on the first time, but it can be done. You're still going to have to.
freeze transformations and orient the joints. So I'm um, pretty happy with that one. Um, check whoops. Check this one. Okay, I'm not making you guys too dizzy. I'm gonna lower this joint down. Now what I probably should be doing is going in and freezing these transforms or uh, orienting the joints as I go through. But since I'm moving these just straight down, it's not going to move with the, it's not going to mess with these axes too much, if any at all. But I'll go back through and make sure I'm aligning these. Okay, so last but not least is our index finger and these. These are kind of high up there, so let's just move them down. And pretty happy with that. It's probably pretty hard to see in the video, but uh, you know this is going to change the axis. Uh, it's going to change the position of the X a little bit. So, all right, quick fix though with the. Uh, now I don't want the thumb, so I'm going to just select this and X up axis Y world up, and I'm going to orient joints. You might not see much, but those are going to move just a little bit. And make sure I oh. That's why we didn't see much, because then didn't have the select hierarchy. So I was only changing one joint there. So you got to make sure you have that whole hierarchy selected. And if you watch closely, those two popped in a little bit. And the lower joint, up arrow, select hierarchy, orient joints. So small change, but very, uh, very important. Pinky, hierarchy, orient joints. Okay, so we popped all those back in. Now, we don't want to go through and orient the joints of the thumb to this uh, X, Y, Z because we've changed it. So I'm happy with where this is at. Um, you know, I could tweak this just a little bit more. Uh, and, and the reason is, um, basically what we want to do is the joints want to be parallel the z-axis wants to be parallel to the bending plane now the bending plane and the fingers the easiest thing to use for the reference is the fingernail so the fingernail is going to show what position the fingers are in so obviously the fingers are all pointing up but the thumb you see we have the thumb going sideways and if you look at my z-axis is not parallel with the thumb the thumbnail so turn this back to texture and I'm going to rotate along the X and uh, you know I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to go this way because that's what we're looking for something like that and we'll go into a little bit more on the leg as well but uh, this is uh, looking much better turn this back off okay so I'm liking that a lot better um, and like I said, I'm going to show you a little trick we do in the leg just so we make sure our knee joint is parallel. The z-axis in the knee joint is parallel to our knee. Like I said, thumb's a little tricky. It can be a little different. So I like how it was uh, bending, though, so this will more than likely improve it. Okay, and one more. So now these three joints stay straight. This joint changes in the thumb. So uh, let's see if I go around the X a little bit. Let's try that. I was happy with it before, but let's try this. And hierarchy. Now we notice our Z axis is over here now. So just to make sure, there we go. Um, okay, it's I'm, I'm not digging it, so we're gonna work on it a little bit. Not too bad though. That's that is what happens. Your thumb moves down, then it curls. So um, I think I'm gonna go back up to this top joint and just cheat it. The two back that way. And yeah, I like that better. Just comes down a little bit quicker so just kind of get a view out here yeah see how the thumb folds under and then has a nice curl at the end okay so 
I'm going to move up. I'm going to select hierarchy C and uh, rotate C. It's a really nice curl. Yep, I like it. I got to pause this video for one second. I got a phone call. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I am definitely liking that. Um, and, you know, we move up, the wrist will curl under as well. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, super good, super nice. That's breaking. Anyway, uh, okay, so with the hand done, I'm liking that. Now I'm definitely going to go through here again because I've been doing a lot of tweaks and I'm checking out the rotations here. I'm going to do that quick. Uh, you really need to go through every single joint and verify that those rotations are singled out. Um, and if they're not, you can freeze the transforms. Okay. I know it's kind of painful to watch this sometimes, but uh, uh, you get the idea. Okay. So I'm liking that. Uh, I'm going to double check that one. One more. We're all zeroed out. We're looking good in the arm. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is just go through and show you the naming conventions of the leg. And I started at the top here. Check the time while I had about five minutes left. So call this left underscore leg or <laughs> left uh, hip. Underscore J and T left knee underscore J and T and I'm gonna do ankle ball toe left ankle J and T left ball underscore J and T in left toe joint. Okay, uh, I'm going to pause this one second and uh, be right back. Okay, so I got these named off, and uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, um, one of the ways. Now, this this character's knees are, are pretty much parallel to the front of her. A lot of times when you get into a creature or characters or something with the uh, funky legs, they'll they'll be a little bit off. But uh, one way to check our consistency, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create uh, polygon primitives. Now uh, you can do nerves or polys, whatever. We're going to delete this just to test. So I'm going to create a plane. Instead of using the knee, I'm going to go back up into the thumb. So with the plane selected, I'm just going to, because this one's kind of hard to see, and I'm going to uh, shift select the joint. I'm going to parent it. And I'm going to select over here in the uh, channel box. I'm going to zero out all these values. And it's going to snap that right to uh, the thumb. And so what that does is it, it snaps it to that thumb tip joints axis. So it really gives you a, a nice visual of where the, the Z axis is pointing. And if I turn back on the mesh, we can see that it's very much parallel to the fingernail of the thumb. It's exactly where I want it. So if we were to do that with any other joints, um, it's just a really good way to see exactly where your Z-axis is located. And again, that's what we're rotating around. So it's important to know. Uh, we might do this up here in the shoulder area. Uh, and anywhere we have, we want to verify um, or just get a better view of uh, where Z-axis is pointing, according, uh, you know, in, in concurrence with the mesh. So. Um, with that, uh, I think what I'll probably do is cut this one off to limit my editing here. Uh, anyway, so we've got everything named. Now, uh, the next series will move up into the hand, or excuse me, into the arm, do a vector. We'll do. We'll set up an IK on the arm and uh, work with the uh, uh, doing a, a vector, pull vector in the correct fashion. So. Anyway, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Now with this plane here really quick, um, what I'm going to do is you can either undo everything or you can just delete it. And then we want to make sure that in our hypergraph we don't have a plane or a group or anything uh, parented. So looks good. I'll probably just double check my hierarchy and make sure that nothing's in there. It looks pretty clean. So here's a little view quickly. What we got going so far and uh see you in the next video